Nikola Tesla was born on July 10, 1856, in Smiljan, Croatia, now Austria-Hungary. His mother was a highly intelligent but uneducated housewife, while his father was an Orthodox priest. Some stories from his childhood have traveled down to prove that he was an inventor from the beginning. A few anecdotes from his young life were told through biographies are much like this one. Once he perched on the roof of the barn, clutching the family umbrella and hyperventilating on the fresh mountain breeze until his body felt light and the dizziness in his head convinced him he could fly. Plunging to earth, he lay unconscious and was carried off to bed by his mother. Another, when he was a few years older, described his inventive mind and fascination with motors. His 16 bug power motor was likewise not an unqualified success. This was his light contravance made of splinters forming a windmill with a spindle and pulley attached to live June bugs. When the glued insects beat their wings, as they did desperately, the bug power engine prepared to take off. This line of research was forever abandoned, however, when a young friend dropped by who fancied the taste of June bugs. Noticing a jarful standing near, he began cramming them into his mouth. The youthful inventor threw up. When he was young, his teachers thought he was cheating in school because he could do calculus in his head. His genius was far beyond their comprehension. When he graduated high school, he begged his father to send him to university, but there was a military draft. To avoid military service, he exposed himself to cholera, which he later contracted. During the time he was sick, his father thought he would die and promised he could go to university if he got better. He returned to full health and traveled to Budapest to attend university. In 1884, at the age of 28, he immigrated to the United States. Upon arrival, he had four pennies, a pocket full of poems, and a head full of dreams many people would never understand. He went straight to work for Edison through a referral from his friend at the university where he studied in Budapest. In the late 1870s, New York got electricity using Edison's direct current. It was very dangerous, though. The Brooklyn Dodgers got their name because the people in Brooklyn had to dodge the, fly the sparks flying off the trolley rails quite frequently. When Tesla tried to introduce Edison to the idea of alternating currents, Edison refused to accept. He challenged Tesla by basically saying it was impossible and promising large sums of money if he could. Then, Edison hired him to improve the direct current plants anyway. When Tesla figured out how to make alternating currents work and asked for the money, Edison declared that it had only been in jest and he would soon understand the American humor. Outraged, Tesla quit. A few years later, Tesla found an investor for his alternating current idea. He quickly created all the ideas that had been milling around in his head since he had first had the idea of alternating currents. George Westington realized Tesla's genius and bought the patent rights to Tesla's alternating current machinery. The war between Edison and Tesla is often referred to as the war between the currents. They forbid each other's companies to use each other's ideas and products and so on. Edison even went as far as to electrocute circus animals with Tesla's alternating current to prove it was more dangerous than his and should not be used. Tesla's genius made him a strange man. Sometimes he would use his body as a conductor to light lamps. He also had a weird fascination with the number three. He often had to repeat things two more times to be satisfied. Such stories have been told that when he walked around the block once, he would walk, have to walk around the block two more times to make it an even three. Even though he was a germaphobe, he loved pigeons. He would go to the park every day to feed them. One pigeon was his particular favorite. It was white, and he fed it special feed. It was the only one present when he died at the New York Hotel at the age of 86. By the time of his death, he held 700 patents. His inventions modernized technology as we know it. 100 plus of his patents are still in use today. Without his inventions, we would not have x-rays, electrical generators, FM radio, remote control, robots, spark plugs, and fluorescent lights, along with much more. To this day, Tesla has modernized technology. People never understood Tesla's genius, and probably never will. Many of his ideas were lost when he died because he would not write them down. Tesla was a genius unlike any other.